again, engineer folks. And for our today's vlog, ay pag-uusapan natin kung importante ba na master's degree holder ka. And if yes, what is the ideal age before you take up your master's degree? And what field of specialization you are going to pursue? First, let us discuss what is a master's degree. After you graduated your bachelor's degree, pwede mo i-level up yung educational degree mo by taking up master's degree. And after that, doctorate degree. Like in my profession, civil engineering, madami kaming field of specialization na pwede i-pursue sa aming post-graduate studies. Examples are Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Major in Structural Engineering, the Technical Engineering, Transportation Engineering, Water Resources Engineering, and Construction Management. Ang postgraduate studies depends sa pacing mo yan kung gaano mo katagal matatapos. First, you need to finish the academic subject that was around 30 units. Each semester, you can enroll up to 9 units depending on subject's availability. When the offered course subjects are not those you needed to enroll, the time allocated finishing your academic subject will lengthen. After finishing your academic subject, you need to pass a comprehensive examination before taking up your thesis writing. Although I've already shared some part of this in some of my blog, hindi ko pa talaga siya na share ng detalyado sa iisang blog. Kaya ang dami ko rin receive na comment na gumawa ako ng blog regarding master's degree. Let me share to you first my experience during my postgraduate studies. After I passed the Civil Engineering Licensure Examination in 2012, I took up Master of Arts in Engineering Management agad-agad. Actually, structural engineering talaga yung gusto ko i-pursue. Kaso sabi ng kaibigan ko, mas maganda daw yung engineering management. Kasi daw, pang managerial position yun, kaya mas malaki yung sweldo. And one of the factors which I also considered is yun lang yung available na master's degree for engineering na malapit sa current job ko. Year 2016, I graduated my master's degree. Of course, nag-expect ako nun na may magbabago sa takbo ng karir ko. Pero parang wala naman. But still, I continue to doctorate degree. Four years na, hindi pa rin ako graduate. <laughs> But hopefully, this semester is makomplete ko na yung aking academic subject. Having a total of 48 units. Para makapag-take na ako ng comprehensive examination and next to that is dissertation writing. Bakit ako inabot ng 4 years na hindi ko pa rin natatapos yung aking doctorate degree? Kasi nung kalagitna ng pag-aaral ko, nag-stop ako ng 1 and half year to pursue yung gusto ko talaga, which is structural engineering. Because it's a sense of personal accomplishment. Pero nahinto ako sa comprehensive examination. Dahil mas kailangan kong tapusin yung aking doctorate degree dahil yun yung requirement na mas kailangan ko sa job in terms of promotion. Nung pumasok ako sa unang master's degree ko, wala pa ako ng experience. Kasi kapapasok pa lang nun ng board exam. Isa sa disadvantage na pumasok ka ng master's degree na wala ka pang experience or konti pa lang yung experience mo is limited lang yung masyashare mo sa klase pagdating sa mga actual scenario. Pero ang advantage naman ay madami kang magiging na knowledge sa mga lessons nyo and also from the experiences of your professors and classmates na may i-apply mo din in your daily life as a professional. And in addition, at your young age pa lang, master's degree holder ka na. Kasi ako, nung graduate ako ng master's degree, 24 pa lang ako nun. Nung nag-take naman ako ng structural engineering, 26 years old na ako nun. Masasabi ko na may difference siya compared nung pumasok ako ng masters at may young age at nang halos walang experience. Kasi mas napipil ko na yung pinag-aaralan namin. Dahil mas may idea na ako sa mga pinag-aaralan namin at mas nag-explore ako para mas mag-deepen yung understanding ko sa bawat topic. Kasi yun talaga yung field na gusto ko i-pursue. And given the scenario na nasa academy ko, ang dami ko pa ding dapat malaman. When I entered master's degree in structural engineering, I realized that there's a lot more I needed to know and to improve. One of the disadvantages of starting your master's degree na medyo late na, like in your late 20s or early 30s, is hati na kasi yung oras natin. Kasi yan yung age na kung saan ay nag-desert na tayong bumuhunan sa sarili nating pamilya and yung mga ibang concepts ay nalimutan na din natin. Kasi ang event ay na nasa akali, yung mga subjects na hindi ko naman itinuturo, yung mga formulas doon, hindi ko naman natanda din lahat. 
Moreover, the advantage is madami ka na experience in actual practice which you can incorporate in your studies. And at that age, I think you are already decided what field of specialization you wanted to pursue in your life. Kasi ako, 25 years old, pinili ko na magsettle at magkaroon ng isang permanent job. Na eto na talaga yung pat na gusto kong tahakin. Na sinabi ko sa sarili ko na kahit anong mangyari, hindi na ako magre-resign. Na dito na talaga ako. Kaya for me, mas ideal na mag-start ka ng master's degree mo nang may experience ka na. Maybe, that's one of the reason why some universities are requiring at least 2 years experience to enter a specific program in master's. For me talaga, mas maganda pa rin na meron tayong tinatawag na speciality. Like in my profession, civil engineering. Ang daming field niyan, you can master all the field of civil engineering. Ang dami na katanong sa akin, anong field daw ang mas maganda in terms of salary and opportunity? Lahat naman kasi ng field ng civil engineering na ipursu mo, may magandang opportunity na naghihintay sa'yo. Depende na lang kung paano ka mag -e effort para gumanda yung takwa ng karir mo. Allow yourself to explore para ma-realize mo sa sarili mo yung field na sa tingin mo ay doon ka mag -e enjoy at mag grow sa profession mo. These past years, nagkaroon ng biglang paglobo sa bilang ng mga engineering graduates, specifically in the field of civil engineering. So, it's an advantage kung meron kang master's degree and other credentials. But taking aside our diploma, what counts is our learning, skills, and attitude. To conclude, this is my answer. Start your master's degree once you are decided kung anong field of specialization ang gusto mo i-pursue. Somewhere along your journey naman, marirealize mo kung anong field talaga gusto mo mag-focus ng profession mo. Don't rush yourself. Just enjoy every part of your journey. Nakatulong ba yung master's degree sa akin or sa naging takbo ng career ko? Yes. Kasi ang dami kong natutunan at ang dami ko din nakilala. Sa naging takbo naman ng career ko, sobrang laki. First, hindi siguro ako makakakuha ng permanent item or ng position sa DPWH dati kung wala akong master's degree dahil sa'yo sa naging advantage ko. Second, hindi ako mapipermanent sa State University sa job ko ngayon dahil tulad ng sabi ko sa isa kong vlog, the minimum requirement para makakuha ng permanent position or ng item sa State University is master's degree. Hindi naman siguro malaking kabawasan sa time at income natin yung i-invest natin sa pag-aaral ng master's degree compared sa magiging natin na professional growth at opportunity na naghihintay sa atin. So this is how I end my vlog and see you again for another engineering series.